Take a look at the walls. I am standing here right in the middle. And as I look down the row, they all look awesome. Ow, she's a yes, she is. Ow. Standing next to me is Tom Peterson with Spec Mix. And Tom, now comes an important part. These guys are going to get a 10-minute rest period. Tell me what comes up next, and then the 10 minutes after that, what's going to be happening? Well, each of these guys just got done laying about anywhere from five, six, seven hundred brick or more, and they probably can't even feel their arms. Probably couldn't even put a beer to their mouth right now. So what we're doing is we're giving them a 10-minute rest period. So they're going to collect their thoughts, rest, and... The, what that does allows the judges to go in, do some preliminary judging, some brick counts, things like that. What do they do? What exactly was the judge, lo judge looking for before they clean and strike? Uh, before they clean and strike, uh, the judges, they go and count the brick. Um, and then they go in, they check for heights. Uh, they, they look at uh, whether the mortar was cut flush. Um, they're, they're looking at uh, whether there's any shiners in the wall. Um, and things like that, mainly. And that takes probably about 10 minutes. So it allows us to speed up the judging competition a little bit and give these guys a rest. Okay, then after that, 10 minutes to clean and strike. What will the uh, mason be focusing on? Well, what, what, once, what they do is then they, once they rest, they get the 10 minutes to clean and strike. And, and when the masons are actually, what they're doing is they're finishing the front side of the wall. So they're going to give it a, they're, they're going to strike the wall, the joints with an S joiner, um, and then they're going to clean it up. Uh, if a guy's going for craftsmanship, that's an important criteria. Um, if a guy's got a lot of voids in the front of his wall, it gives an opportunity to fill voids in the front of the wall. So that's that's really what the cleaning portion is, and it replicates an actual job site. That's what they do. And you know, speaking of job sites, a lot of the walls look real good right now. And as both of us look down there, I see a lot of walls that could be a winner, but. It looks to me like there's a lot of quality or sellable walls, which is really, you know, that's what the trade's all about, the integrity and the sellability. Yeah, absolutely. We're, we're looking for we're looking for sellability in the walls. We're looking for, but it's a speed competition. I mean, it makes it fun. We're all here having Vegas, having a good time. So we have to balance the speed, craftsmanship. We have great awards for both. Um, and, you know, these walls, they're, they're all great, uh, and, and the guys make them look good, but there, there are the things that the judges go and look for. So if even a wall does look uh, really nice, there might be some things like joint thickness or um, plumbness that, that might not be there. So they, they, um, they're looking for that. And what do you think about all this? Of course, this is the 10th anniversary of the Spec Mix Brick Layer 500. Did you ever think that this would go on for 10 years? It's still popular. I think it's going to go on for a little more, but 10 years. No, it's uh, it's a great feeling. We don't, you, know, you, you never know. I mean, with uh, with the, the economy uh, back in the day, it was great, and then even through the uh, tough economy, this this the the all of our sponsors, the industry, um, all the competitors contributing, and all the, the people that support the regionals and national. I mean, they stuck through it, and because it's fun, and this industry needs a lot more fun things to uh, to to help grow it and give us all something good to feel about, and that's that's what that's why. I, I'm proud that it's a 10-year event. It's exciting. Thank you, Tom Peterson with Spec Mix. We appreciate it very much.